This is Ivan, the old boy from Play the Player channel. That's important video. It's going to be important video. It's going to be all about the game. All about the game. The game you play. And here will be... Yeah, it is so important that I wrote some uh, bullet points. So, here in this video, they will be answered the certain questions. How to spot the game. How to get out of the game. When to get out of the game. See, other players play the game on you. How to do that? How to get a new game and how to stick with your own game and how to do your own game. So if this all interesting stuff are into your uh, interest, please sign up for the channel, hit the thumbs up button, that would be an amazing video and I hope to give you my thoughts on that. So now, let's talk on this topic here. Yeah, it is right here. Get a new game. Very important. Get a new game. If you don't know about the game, yeah, we're going to talk about the game. Uh, in the game of life as well. Picking up girls, the opposite sex, the game through uh, pick up artist perspective, the game from a seducer perspective. So, when and how to get a new game. So, I'm going to give you examples here, many, many examples from my personal experience and from my failures and from my successes in game and in business and in life. So, now, here is this important question. How to get a new game. And that new game may be, may be a new relationship, a new job, a new business, a new adventure, a new lifestyle, completely changing and redoing your life. And most of the people don't know how to get a new game. Why? <laughs> There's always cause and effect in this equation. There's always something that is stopping you from getting a new game when you're trying to get a new girlfriend it's probably the old one it's probably something is holding you back you have this backwards ra ra rationalization backward rationalization that you cannot do it but that's not true you can totally do it and that is the whole idea because you are the one to do the game on yourself first. You have to start the game on yourself first in order to get a new game. If you want to get a new girlfriend, don't focus your attention on the, one, the old one. Don't use the old one as an excuse. If you are about to get a new wife, if you are in a, in a marriage and if the marriage does not work, well, it's time for you to get a new wife. Maybe it's time for you to move on in life. Takes guts, takes balls, takes practice. <laughs> As I said in, in my list of the 1000 examples of approaches, it takes GBP. Guts, balls and practice. Yeah, the same way when you want to get a new game. A new game may be your new job, okay? It has been coming a point at your life that you are already, already doing this job and you don't have this internal satisfaction. That's the reason number one. And that is the reason number one why people don't have this stamina or resourcefulness or desire or they are not yet disgusted enough with their current situation. Why? The reason why. Because, as one of these gurus said, we keep unconsciously doing evil, working for that corporation, working for that organization. We know we are doing evil. But once you're aware, once you aware that you are unconsciously doing evil, that you are doing this as a repetitive process and you get nothing out of it, I mean, you only get the money, of course, from your boring job, maybe, maybe it's time to 
Say no to the money, stay broke, stay low, stay suffering, move to a camper, move to a van, go sleep on the street, but you get something out of it. Yeah, in relationship to the jobs, situation how to get a new game, which is a new job. Well, there's important question that comes from my guru. It's a quote, yeah? And it's somewhat like this. It's not important what you get in your job. It's important what becomes out of you at that job. Very important quote, yeah? Many people go for the jobs for a simple reason, the money, uh, I will struggle, I will, how can I stay with no money, how can I live with, you know, or they are afraid to lose their status, you know, like the status of steady income, that is called status, yeah, a steady income that every day gives you a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, the number, it gets to the comfort level. Once you get to $500, it's almost impossible to get down to $100, yeah? But it's also possible. I've been there, I've been there from $5,000 a day to $100 a day. I've been there, I've been there as well, from a no money per day to $500 a day. So I'm talking here through experience, through experience. So, uh, so get a new game. Get a new game in the area of your relationship. Get a new game in the uh, field of jobs and monetary uh, satisfaction. Cut the monetary satisfaction. Time over. It's time to cut the monetary satisfaction and start seeking for internal satisfaction. As we say, what comes out of you it's more important than what you gonna get. Who you become, it's more important on your job, of course. It's who you become on your job, it's more important than all the money, all the affiliations, all the respect, all the things that comes from the external element. Your co-workers, how they treat you. Even if you are top paid CEO, make a million dollars a year, all your peers are, yes, you are the best, you are doing great job, you does this, 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 all. You have all the approval from the board of the directors, from the investors, from anybody. If you don't feel you are becoming something more, if you don't feel you are becoming something bigger than what you already are, it's time, my friend, to get a new game. Now, <laughs> now, once you get the new game, once you get the new game, here is the clue. How to know that this game is the right game, okay? I'm here talking from experience. I give you an example. I was doing business and the business was slowly dragging down and slowing down and uh, it, it went to no expansion. I, I was at that spot. I had like 40 people, I think the top maybe 35 40 people depending on the season uh 25 people out there on the field 10 people in one restaurant six people in another place and but i felt i felt that the things are going down and i did not move to a new game i knew everything was giving me signals everything was telling me stop doing all these things no matter what if you have to lose all these people all this money, all this status and whatever, it's time for you. And I did not do it and I lost it all. <laughs> yeah. Now, once you get a new game, I don't know what's going to be. Maybe it's a thing that, uh, maybe it's a thing that you want to go in completely different lifestyle. Okay. Perfect example. Let me give you the example with the plumber because this plumber keeps reoccurring in my talks here. Let's say you are a plumber and you are a good plumber. Just a plumber. Okay, it's just a plumber. People say, yes, there's no money in plumbing. But hey, <laughs> you don't know. Let's say you are a good plumber. 
going to your job on a daily basis, doing your job as the company say, as the policy say, you are trying to be always on time, you are trying to do your job correctly, you don't take shortcuts, you do the plumbing right. You do such a great job that when you finish your plumbing, you can look at the pipes and say, these pipes will outlast this house or this building. Yeah, that's how good I am. And you're that good plumber. Let's say you are that great worker in your job, at your place. Everybody respects you. A lot of people come to you and, and asking you very important question related to the job of plumbing. For example, they are these newbies and they come to you and they say, hey, uh, plumber, let's say this is uh, the plumber, uh, what was the plumber? Uh, Joe the plumber, yeah, you are Joe the plumber and uh, all these newbies, they just came into your plumbing job, they came to you and they asking you these questions, hey, Joe, how can I do this plumbing here in such a way that looks like as you did it because we know that you are the best plumber here in our company and i come to you for advice and you have this you know <laughs> real confidence a delusion of grandeur and you say yes this is how you have to do it you have to design it yeah do it like this do it like that that's right angle it's not good so you have to make 45 degrees angle for the water to go flawless whatever so you give your advice and that's that's also another thing for the best plumber job if you are that best plumber job but there's always a but quietly quietly after you finish your job you've been always reading about new plumbing techniques after you finish your job doing your job great everybody tap you on the on the shoulder and say Joe you are the best plumber you had a little secret hobby yeah and that was secret hobby was researching more about plumbing and that is one of the reasons that you became a great plumber to begin with right <laughs> you've been doing your job nine to five and five to nine you spent four hours for the last ten years about all new plumbing technology how could be done better and one day, one day, one day, for some weird coincidence, you went to a seminar about books, how to write a book. Yeah, you are a plumber, but for some reason, somebody dragged you in that place and uh, you went there and you was listening to this guru talking about how to write the book, how to market the book, how to promote the book, how to sell the book, how many other gigs you can get out of this book and boom, it hits you in the head. Like, wow, I can write a book. Why? Because all this knowledge that you had collecting for the last five or 10 years, just going in internet and listening videos about new techniques of plumbing, reading all the books on plumbing, reading all the articles about plumbing, discussing and commenting on message boards about plumbers, all of a sudden, boom, a new idea dawned on you. Yeah, I'm that guy that I can actually write a new book on plumbing. And then, my friend, you have a new game. That's right, your game became from a plumber to a writer. Is this possible? Guess what? Millions and millions of cases like this. A guy who was doing electricity all of a sudden became a big author. A guy who was doing picking up garbage cans wrote the book. I have personal friend. <laughs> Guess what? This personal friend was a drug dealer. And all of a sudden, I saw this guy in the middle of the universe, Times Square, like a couple of years ago, and I see him on the table selling his books. Yeah? A book about his adventure about selling drugs. All he literally did, he wrote a book about his past experience, how this, how that, what was the experience, how, everything about his life. And boom, boom. And this guy had a new game, completely new game. He turned from a drug dealer to a book author. 
and draw the plumber one day became from a plumber became an author so now we have a new game now <laughs> now you'll say oh oh, oh Ivan that that sounds like uh, too much on the surface yeah but there's a practical side for that practical side for that once you put the book on the marketplace you're gonna immediately have some results you're gonna have reviews you're gonna have this you're gonna have that so now the question is how to go between these two games the game of the plumber the best plumber worker in the company and the new game the plumber author the guy that writes the book now where you have to look at this you have to look at the results that is the key my friend you have to look at the results if the book is going if the gaff looks like this growing 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 definitely you have a new game if the results are not growing rapidly if the chart is not like this if the chart is static there is something to think about it maybe it's time to rewrite the book <laughs> maybe it's time to market the book maybe it's time something is telling you and the most important thing is focus on the results actually i made the video focus on the results or look back at the results and see if your game is effective when to get out of the game yeah yep when to get out of the game and how to stick with your new game now that's another big thing if draw the plumber became from a plumber and became to uh, to be a author how he should stick with his new game yeah a lot of people make this mistake so now another common mistake with the game of life and the game of seduction and girls and the opposite sex i hope you are a man listening this video but if you are a woman you can get the metaphoric thing so now another question here is how to stick with your game again first thing look at the results two look at the the first thing that i was talking if the results are not that great but it gives you personal satisfaction even if the results are not that great let's say draw the plumber was making 200 bucks doing his plumbing job but not enjoying it too much but he was good he was good yeah we have to give it to him as i said in the in the story of draw he was a good guy he was the best plumber he got some rewards he got some but if he did not feel satisfied if he thought he is meant to be something bigger than a plumber yeah in that case you can literally make the equation simple mathematical number game you know you can calculate your satisfaction versus the money that you make as a plumber how this will work okay i'm making 200 dollars but here i feel okay with the book i'm making 200 dollars as a plumber i'm making 200 dollars as a plumber but i feel not so great with the book i'm making 200 dollars in sales per day equal to my plumbing job but i feel great in my new game obviously <laughs> obviously now you gotta stick with your new game you have to work on your new game and now let me give you the downside the downside is always a downside now many people do this game many people became uh from a regular everyday normal guy <laughs> credit to uh john la jolie uh everyday normal guy every day someone everyday normal guy becomes something big yeah but what they do perfect example with the lottery you know like this regular josh mo gets the lottery and he becomes something good on the surface big thing on the surface he has like 10 million dollars and then very quickly he is back to where he started in just no time in couple of months or couple of years he's on zero dollars actually he's more miserable that's one of the stories you know one of the stories that you can hear everywhere in social media and you can type why lottery millionaires go psychologically deranged after being a millionaire for a while right because 
they didn't work for it. They didn't put anything. They didn't have their soul and intellect and uh, heart into getting, it was just pure chance, right? It's just a bunch of numbers and somehow the universe sent you the lottery and like, yeah, I'm a millionaire now. But their other story, a guy who is, who was in the game of plumbing became an author and he got into the game of writing. Do you understand? Now, the question for this guy should be, okay, I have a new game, it's writing. Number one question that you should ask, once you realize you have a new game, let's say you are a plumber, the plumber that became an author of a book. Number one question, how can I get better at writing? How many lectures, how many classes, how many seminars, how many webinars, how many marketing and this, all, all this stuff. How many I have to attend to become from a new author to a great author? If these are the right questions, Joe, the plumber, the regular plumber guy, now the author of a book, should be asking himself because the new game gives him more satisfaction. $200 here on the plumbing job, no satisfaction. Uh, $200, $200 selling the book, great satisfaction. So the question for Joe the plumber should be, well, how can I get the best of me in my new game? Yeah, that is a good question, my friend. How can I get the best of me in my new game? And uh, many people don't do that. I give you a bad example of this. Joe the plumber became the plumber. He just got a new game. He was making $200 from his plumbing job and he now making $200 in sales. And he start going towards this new game, the writing, you know, like to be an author. And he transformed his entire personality. He became from a plumber, he became an author. He start waking up not at seven, but at 10 in the morning, get all quiet, smoke a cigarette or like did his meditation he was taking his time to write the new piece that would help him to become a greater author. But he started hearing about new games and new games here and new games here. Just because he moved from one game of plumbing to the game of authorship, he started hearing all about these new games, new games, new games. Yeah, game here, game here, you know. And then again, he got caught in the same trap as he was caught in the draw the plumber, the money trap. He was making $200, no satisfaction. He was making a little bit more money as an author. And let's say draw the new draw, the author made his money. I'm giving example with money because money is easy to count. You know, let's say all of a sudden from $200 a day, he started making $10,000 a day and he became a millionaire and he became like this book was Wow, big book, big, big thing. Every plumber in the universe bought his book and he made $10 million. Now he has $10 million. That's right. <laughs> but he stopped there. He did not look at the results. Hey, this book gives me $10 million. How can I make $10 billion now? What kind of book I have to write to get $10 billion? Should it be? Uh, a book on plumbing or maybe should be another book do i have experience to write another book and all these good questions but he didn't ask these questions because he heard hey you know what if you have 10 million dollars invest in real estate and that's another mistake that maybe joe the plumber will do he immediately got a new game the game he got the game too fast in his life he got all this big money and then he didn't hold the money he didn't think about how to put more money in his current game. Remember that Joe the plumber was putting all new skills. While he was a little plumber doing his job very well, he was putting a lot of investment, his time, which is a lot more valuable than money. He was spending these four hours after nine to five. He was spending five to nine reading about plumbing. That is called investment. Now, this time, Joe the plumber didn't do that. You know, he just made this $10 million in the new emploi of Joe the writer and he did not continue. So he quickly moved to another game, 
maybe a real estate, maybe the stock market, and some nice, cool salesman took his money, and now Joe the plumber is in the same situation. So I hope you understand this example, and it's a good example of how to move through the game, the game of life. Excellent example about this, what I said about draw the plumber to draw the author and draw the author to draw the real estate or the marketing guru is the story of Vanilla Ice. If you know Vanilla Ice, if you don't know, I'm talking about this guy a lot. He's a very handsome man. He's very strong man. He's very talented man. So here is Vanilla Ice game in no time. He made one song, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, that's the song, Ice Ice Baby. Everybody knows this song. If you are old boy like me, old boy like Ivan, you should know Vanilla Ice song, Ice Ice Baby. He became ultra millionaire, ultra fast at very small, at very uh, young age. And he was confused. He was confused. And the haters was waiting for him to fail. And of course he failed. He moved to a bunch of other stuff, getting into drugs, getting into things. Wonderful example of changing the game and immediately falling. So there you have it. The video is getting too long here, but I have to tell you, I had to tell you, I felt like I have to tell you because I'm constantly in changing my game. If you are good in life, generally, and if you are a little bit wise, that should be your credo constantly changing the game now if you are in a relationship that's a big benefit of changing the game all the time that is the factor of randomness you know uh, one of these factors in the relationship is called randomness according to the looking through the lens of pickup artistry and game randomness it's a big thing spontaneous random out of the blue not in the regular ways of life. And uh, that's it, my friend. Somebody is calling me, be a player or get played by life.